you are now watching Showbiz Stop, your daily showbiz update. Actress na si Angel Luxin nagbigay ng kanyang disappointment sa naging pahayag ni President Duterte kamakainan lamang sa naging late evening speech nito. Doon kasi ay binahagi ni President Duterte na aniya do not despair, kaya natin to, COVID na ito. Maliit na bagay ito sa buhay natin. Marami tayong dinaanan, mas ano? Mas grabe, mas mahirap, mas magluluha kayo, lahat kayo ay huwag kayong matakot. Yan ang naging pagpapahayag ni President Duterte. At narito naman ang naging pag-react ni Angel of Sendito. Aniya, maliit na bagay. Baka po sa inyo sir, para sa amin po kasi malaki. Malaking utang, malaking taas ng cases at malaking human rights violation. Yan ang naging pagtuliksa naman ni Angel Luxin sa naging pahayag ni President Duterte. Samantala, ilang netizen din ang disappointed sa naging pagbabahagi na ito ni President Duterte. At narito naman ang pagdepensa nitong si Harry Roque. Aniya, Duterte wasn't referring or President Duterte wasn't referring to COVID-19 as a small thing. Rather, he was referring to how our country has fared better compared to other countries. Yan po ang naging article naman ng Dailypedia. We have been spared from even more deaths that more developed countries have experienced. Countries who have funding for healthcare, yan ang naging pahayag ni Hare Roque. Netizen, however, were heaving none of it as Roque's defense came after the fact. Some question whether Duterte and the heads of the Interagency Task Force or IATF actually know what they are doing. Narito po ang ilang disappointment ng netizen. After one year, we went from sasampali ng virus to maliit lang na bagay. After so many deaths and after crippling the economy with so many jobs lost, he still doesn't know what he's doing. Maliit na bagay ito sa buhay natin. Filipinos have been on an extended vacation for a year now. We were excellent. We controlled the spread of the disease. Words from an out-of-touch, intellectually and morally bankrupt government mula naman ito kay Gideon Lasco. At sabi ng isa, excuse me, Mr. President. Sa maliit na bagay ito sa buhay natin, one year na kalakdang without concrete plans, people lost their jobs, Maliit na bagay, people died. Excuse me, this is not maliit na bagay and it's pretty scary. We see this government is slowly killing us. Mula kay Mark Heronimo. Mula naman kay Barnaby Law, 12,837, that's almost 627,000 cases. The many fighting for their lives in ICUs today. Even more, just struggling to survive day to day, maliit na bagay. Maliit na bagay, literally millions of people have suffered and died from it mula naman sa The Charles. At ang isa naman ay sinabing another young friend of mine just lost her dad to COVID-19 last night. And all you can say is maliit na bagay ang pandemic sa buhay natin mula kay Liz. At eto ang sinabi ng isa. I understand he is only trying to assuage, assuage the public when he said maliit na bagay ito sa buhay natin. It's an assurance brief of a legitimate plan and diligent leadership. Mula kay Leila de Lima or Senator Leila de Lima, uh, siguro ay nagpapanggap lamang siya na ang account niya ito yung kanyang pangalan. But anyway, ito nga ang naging disappointment ng mga netizen sa naging pakayag ni Mr. President Duterte. Pero... Kung titignan natin yung naging pahayag niya or ating bobrod yung ating mind or palalawakin, marahil ang ibig sabihin ni President Duterte sa maliit na bagay ay huwag mag-alala dahil kung ito ay tulong-tulong natin na pagsasamahan, magkakaroon tayo ng duty, ay maliit na bagay ito at sigurado na walang hindi matatalo ang isang bagay na talaga namang walang nagtutulog saan sa isa't isa. Ibig sabihin ni President Duterte sa maliit na bagay ay hindi niya ito nilalang lang. Ibig sabihin, kumpara sa napakalaking uh, ginawa ng uh, ilang mga trahedya sa bansa natin, ay kayang-kaya anag itong virus na ito ay kayanin ng bawat isa. I think nasa tao lang kung paano i-interpret ang sinabi ni Mr. President. Kung ito ay maganda sa pandinig mo, syempre magiging maganda ang resulta sa isip mo. 
Pero kung ito ay pilit mong pinapapangit sa isipan mo, syempre magiging pangit ito sa pandinig mo. What can you say? Ilagay ang opinion sa ating comment section. Images are all credit to the respectful owners and thank you for watching. Show this now.